my lord. What? What is in that coffee? What coffee is that? It's the coffee that Becky got us for Christmas. West Rock. Yeah. I That's think... the one that she found at Animal Kingdom because it has a cute little elephant. elephant on it. Yeah. It is so stinking good. Hold on, let me finish turning off the air conditioner. Why are you turning off the air conditioner? Because you said you were cold. Well, I'm cold, but I still want the circulation and the noise. I like the, the hum. Well, I don't like the noise into the microphone when I have to edit a video. True. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 96. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 120 subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Happy New Week! Yes, it is the first week of the year, and I want to see how everybody did. How right. is their first week? Usually this is the week that everybody's getting back on track, and you're sort of like measuring, you know, your success, like reflecting on the week. Did I stick to what I planned to do? But did this you? Is, this is usually the week where everybody also goes, okay, I had a good week. I'm done now. Let's go no, back to our old habits. No, we're not doing that. Are you going to do that? No, I'm not doing that. You're moving forward? I am moving forward. Did you stick to your keto chow plans this week? I did stick to my keto chow plans with the exception of, um, actually I'm starting, I started it today. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to be, well, I'm starting it completely tomorrow, but today I did one with it where I am incorporating as part of my keto chows, I'm going to be putting three raw eggs in each keto chow. Ooh. And that is to up my protein because, and that's another video coming, but I'll be, be doing some work with Bronson and uh, he wants me to have a lot more protein in my day. And I figure the best way to do it is just use three raw eggs as the fat source and the extra protein in my keto chat. Can I make a request? What? If you decide to also make one for me with the eggs in it, can you not Lion King that? Can you just hand it to me and like, let's not make a big deal out of no it? No problem. I appreciate no that. Problem. Now I did, by the way, hold up to my end of the bargain with you. You didn't get on the scale. And I have not yet been on the scale. I am so proud because you look good. I, I feel like I've lost some weight. Clothes loosening? I can't tell because um, my jeans kind of got to the point where, you know, that like <sighs> buckle them up and like Running I'm start. still like <sighs> buckle them up, but it feels like they're not as much as <sighs> buckle them up. So it's kind of weird. Does that, does any, does that make sense to any, do you know what it's like where you just, I am going to wear these jeans until like literally like I can't suck in my stomach enough to button them. And then when you take them off, you have that like line across the fat of your belly. You need- I'm still at that point, but I feel like it's not as much at that point. You need to do what I do as a girl. We jump, land on the bed, and then button it. Because yeah. it gives you a lot of like help. Here's my thing. Lay down. I have like 20 pairs of jeans. I am not buying another pair of jeans. You know what else? I just only have like three or four that I can actually wear right now. I've also been very handy with a plier, mm -hmm. pliers in the past, where you can like grab that zipper. Okay. Pull it right up. Well, see, I have the opposite problem. Generally, when my jeans don't fit, the zipper goes down. Well, that's what I'm saying. You have no, to but like it, help it, it. Like, no, you get it up. And then it decides, let me go right back down because it's stretching too much on the zipper. So it's like holding the top of the zipper and it slowly opens. Hello, zip tie to your butt loop. <laughs> Fixed. Okay. Let us know how your week went down below. I do want to mention, okay, two things. First of all, this week's Keto Chow Flavor of the Week is Raspberry Cheesecake. Yum. Okay. Now there is a link down below, but also remember, if you use that link down below, you do get 10% off it's of so your whole order not just on that flavor. And our 10% does not stack on top of the raspberry cheesecake. So pretty much every flavor is flavor of the week. But like Rachel said, she likes I have the not flavor had of the it. week because it reminds her we haven't in had forever. it in I have. I cannot tell you the last time I had raspberry cheesecake. Well, I got news for you. I just made some for you for tomorrow. So Thank how's you. that sound? Because yes. again, it brought some remembrance to the fact that it's flavor of the week. I'm telling you, it helps. Yeah. So also, Perfect Keto launched a brand new bar today. 
Super excited about this one. There was a little confusion about they the flavor. They are busy over there. They are busy. So there's a link down below for the new flavor. The new flavor. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Banana nut. Oh. Yes. Yes. I'm excited about this one. Unfortunately, I love banana nut. thanks to the slow mail, um, we haven't gotten ours. Well, I can't yeah. have them anyway because we can't eat till next month, but yeah. we'll let you know about it next month. But I was planning on having Anthony let me know how they taste. Yeah. And uh, we haven't gotten them yet. Now, there is no special deal for the launch. However, they told me they reset our coupon code. Nice. So Thanks, guys. you can use our coupon code, which is 2 Crazy Ketos. That'll get you 15% off, and it's reset. But again, you can only use that code once per email. But if you've used it in the past, if you used it last year, you can use it again now to get your some of those new bars. A reset. It's a complete reset. So I appreciate them doing that for us. Speaking of slow mail, okay, I have some mail that we just got okay. that that was meant for Christmas time. Right. But you know what? Now that Christmas is over, this this feels like bonus gift. Okay. Like I'm really excited I, about this. I like this. bonus gifts. So um, we got a letter. It says, hey, Joe and Rachel, I wanted to say thank you for the difference you are making in many people's lives. I feel blessed to have come across your channel while searching for keto videos. I love that you are quirky, funny, and tell it like it is, all the while showing compassion and love. My journey started a year or, uh, or so ago, but I now see that I have been messing my metabolism up. I was the only one in my big close family trying to get my body back. I heard a million times, just one time won't hurt, or come on, it's your birthday, it's the weekend, it's Christmas, etc. By finding your channel, I have found compassionate people who help each other out and give advice with no judging. Thank you for that. My husband has decided to join me on awesome. this journey. Thanks to your channel. We love sitting down to watch and can't wait to see what each video will teach us or challenge us with. We laugh so hard at the Fear Factor videos and have really enjoyed all the Christmas lives as well. It feels like we have become a part of the family. I'm enclosing two tree ornaments and a Fear Factor item. Uh -oh. I saw the avocados. Here's one of them. Look at how beautiful this is. It's our it's our avocados. I like that. I love this. And had to get them as they reminded me so much of the two of you. And the second ornament is just a thank you for giving us hope and shining your light through Jesus. And it says, hope, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace from Romans 15, 13. That is so awesome. Which is so precious. It says, your fear skip, factor skip item. Past this part. I drove two hours to get as I knew you needed two to try hours? them. Like, you are why amazing. Why is somebody driving two hours? You guys must really just enjoy watching us eat this stuff. I, I just appreciate you thinking of us that much. I cannot wait to see your reactions. I bought suckers one year with these babies in them for my grandkids for stockings. And they laughed so hard enjoying this challenge and have a very Merry Christmas. Love and prayers, Robin and Rusty. And it's in ortho petra mix which has grasshoppers mole crickets big crickets small crickets and salt so totally keto so it's coming along for the Ugh. keto factor well, keto camping fear factor challenge here's the good thing thank you guys so much here's the good thing there's no more filming of keto camping fear factor until the month of february so i feel good about you're gonna take one. a little breast rest now if you're new to our channel they'll and last you don't know what this is for we have a series called keto camping fear factor that whenever we go camping we take three or four items that you guys send us that are shelf stable shelves well yeah you can't mail they'll us wait that's for not you shelf we'll we will find things that are not shelf stable or you can suggest things and we will go look for it um but if you're going to mail us something you got to mail us something that's shelf stable but it's got to be keto like so it's got to, and i mean keto by the macros like if there's a little bit of sugar because of maltodextrin or a little bit of sugar like in you know vienna sausages yeah. that's okay we're talking about keto by the macros right um, except for the wheat kind of stuff. Like I don't want something like Don't send a bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> so anyway, what we do is every time we go camping, we eat three of these things. And these are things that most people probably wouldn't eat. You wouldn't think that you can eat them on a keto diet. But you and can. You would eat them in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Well, that's the test. Right. Would you eat these? Or would I have to eat Joe first? If you haven't seen the series, I'll leave a link for it over Rachel's head. Family the, edition's coming out. It's it's amazing the amount of things that Rachel has chosen that she would eat me over eating. So you need to watch yourself. I see that. You need to so. watch your back. Speaking of family edition, we just got back from two days or two nights. Um, not really camping. It, it's called mooch docking, where you take your RV and you park it in their driveway. Where are you staying? We'll stay in the driveway and plug into the house. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we went with some family. Rachel. Rachel's brother had rented a place and said, hey, they allow you to bring an RV. We went fishing with the nephews. Yeah. We had a blast. It really helped me to appreciate our family. Yeah. But what was really cool, especially after reading that letter, which she's saying like her husband has now joined her along in the journey. And so many people ask us, like, hey, I'm the only one keto. How do I get my father? How do I get my brother? How do I get my sister? How do I get my spouse? How do I get my kids to follow along me with me in this journey? Because I know it's it. good for your health. And Have the answer success. is stick with it. Have right? success. Keep doing the right thing. If you are a longtime yo-yo dieter like we were, mm -hmm. it took a couple years for our family to believe that we were serious about this. Right. I think so many times people are afraid because number one, it is a little different than what we've been taught our whole lives as far as your way of eating. But I think a lot of people, if you've been heavy like us most of your life, you've come and gone with diets, yeah. right? And eating lifestyles. And most of your friends and family are probably like, this is just another fad and they'll be off of it in a month. But when you do it and stick with it for a while, and I don't mean a month, I mean like six months, a year, a lot of times they come around. Rachel's family came around. Everybody in Rachel's family now eats a keto lifestyle. Well, and I think that was amazing and it was so good to go away with them and know that. It was really nice and it was fun and it was super easy to cook for everybody because it was like bacon, Burgers. hamburgers. Actually, my mom was brilliant. She just said, everything that is in my freezer, I'm just taking with us because I can put that all in a cooler. I don't even have to get any ice. It's gonna thaw out you know, on the journey and I'll put it in our refrigerator in our little cottage it's good to go. Yeah. And so she was able to clean out her freezer and everybody ate like kings, yeah. which was awesome. But I was talking to my sister-in-law and she, she was just talking about all of the health benefits that she's been experiencing, but that the weight loss really has been, you know, slow going, mm -hmm. but that she's sticking to it because she's just experienced a lot of health benefits. And something that we just started talking about is Give keto as long as you gave the sad American diet. Right. That's a fair comparison because a lot of times people are like, I've been doing this keto thing for six months after eating a, the other way for 30 years and I don't understand why it hasn't fixed everything in six months. Well, if you were doing a science project, right. you would have to give both types of things equal billing, right? You'd That's have to true. you would have to, to to really see if this experiment works, you'd have to be fair to both sides. So if you've given the sad American diet 30 years and you're expecting for everything to get fixed in one to two years, I don't think that's reasonable. Right. I don't. We're still uncovering blessings from sticking to it and this is year three for me, four for you. Yeah. And the other thing I like to say to people is you need to give this eating lifestyle at least double the amount of time that it took you to put that weight on. Right. Right, because first of all, we all know, the weight goes on faster than it comes off. Absolutely. But if it took you three months to put the weight on, don't change your eating lifestyle until six months in. Yeah. Right? Give yourself double that amount of time. So, I mean, if it took you three years to put that 10 pounds on, give yourself six years. Yeah, and I know that sounds like, it wow. It sounds bad, but I'm true. telling you, it's different. So, um, how about this? My, I hear the bell ringing yes, that for my timer. keto chow custard okay. that I'm going to be eating. I'm going to go turn that off, and while I'm gone, we'll have a quick commercial break. Okay. That smelled so good when you opened that door. I know. I really want to just like stop keto on the couch right now. Go eat. And go eat and then maybe not come back. What do you have over there? So on our way home from Mooch Camping. Our dog needs I found a, this at Tractor Supply. That is hilarious. It looks so cute. Our Ruffies. Our dog needs a us. toy. Like I need another pair of shoes. She needs. Well, here's the thing. This one is like crinkly, but it's not squeaky. Like okay. this one may be okay when we're filming a video, but she always likes to find the squeaky toys. She when finds we're filming. right in that squeaker and just droop, 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 till she can't take it anymore. I know it's it's kind of insane. I did want to say before we get into this week's adjunct professor of the week. Yes. Um, we came back from camping. Well, we're getting right back in the RV in three days. I better do that laundry quick. And we're going back out. But this one isn't so much for Two Crazy Ketos, it's for our other channel, Two Crazy Campers, which if you like camping or if you just want to help support us, yeah. um, 
there's a link for it up over here. And that's the channel where we do like a lot of our like camping stuff. It's just kind of getting going, but it's starting to get some momentum. Yep. And we're putting up vlogs and reviews of campsites and some of our antics. Rachel's going to be changing the black tank soon. That is not happening. It is happening, but that's besides the point. No. no stinky slinky. Yes, you are definitely doing that. But this week from, we're going to be, we'll be there Wednesday morning. We're going to leave Tuesday and we're going to go to like a, one of those Harvest Hosts like places. I'm very excited to check that overnight. out. Boondock overnight. And then we're going to be boondocking in the, uh, what is it? The Tampa Fairgrounds parking lot. Like a homeless person. For five days. Yes. While we go to the RV Super Show, the Florida RV Super Show. I'll leave a link for it down below, but we're going to be there for five days. Come hang out with us. Yeah. If you're in the Tampa area. Yeah. If you're, I don't know, within an hour, two hours, you want to come hang out, say hello, have face. coffee. You know, we'd love to see you guys. I'd like to hug your face. Hug your face? I'd like to hug your face. We're not allowed to hug yet. If you give me the go, <laughs> I'm hugging your face. Okay. Let's get into this week's Keto College Adjunct, Adjunct Professor of the Week. Let's do it. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is somebody who put a post up on Facebook or maybe on our YouTube comments. To inspire to others. To inspire. So this week's Adjunct Professor of the Week is Renee. I love Renee. Renee said, those that are new to this way of life and even those who are seasoned members, don't let anybody steal your sunshine. Mm. One of my greatest coaches told me, Always remember your why. Yes. Just always be true to yourself and your why, and you will see the results. Be patient, allow yourself kindness and forgiveness, and you will prepare. Prove them wrong, winning. Wow. This kind of reminded me when I saw that of what you are in the middle of right now on our Instagram and our Facebook group page. Renee, we are on the absolute same page because I'm going to tell you what happened. Day one, I saw everybody's like, getting fit challenge on January 1st, you right. know, like everybody's choosing a new way of life January 1st, you right. know, like after Christmas. And so I was looking at some dishes that I can't eat right. because they're not keto. They may be like low, you know, calorie. Mm -hmm. And I found myself going like, Oh, I remember tasting that dish. And right. I remembered that like that was good. And that used to be a part of my life. And I thought, why am I even rattling these thoughts around in my brain like i'm not truly jealous of this right and remember why i'm doing this it's not even for the delicious food that i get to eat there is so many reasons why i'm on keto and i thought there's got to be at least 31 reasons mm -hmm. why i am doing this and so i thought this would be a really good therapeutic way for me to be excited about this year and sticking with it is to talk about why am I doing this? One one thing after another, one day, each day something new. And I thought, well, is this too much? Am I gonna come up with 31 reasons? You're doing amazing. And there's no problem. Right. Every day I remember there's a new reason why we're doing this. Yeah, so if you haven't seen any, go head on over to our Facebook family group. There's a link down below. It's completely free to join. Yeah. And you'll see every day Rachel is putting up a picture along with a reason of why we're doing keto other than weight loss. Yeah, and I'd love to see your reasons why. Yeah, let Share us know yours. down below. Share them down below. Let us know down there. Let why us know keto? over on our Facebook family group. Why are you doing keto other than weight loss? Or maybe you're like me and you got started with keto because of weight loss. And other side And now side all of a sudden you found out like, look at all these benefits that are better than the weight loss. Yeah. So let us know down below. Okay, so speaking of Facebook family group, Every week we like to go over there and pick out somebody who's having some success. Now this success does not have to be like you've been on keto for two years. This no. could be you've been on keto for a week, a month, maybe six months. You said no to something. Right. And so what we ask you to do is go over there, share your stories, maybe put up a picture. And we like to share that with everybody here. Not because we want content, but because your story is going to impact somebody. There is somebody out there right now who's going through what either you're going through or what you went through and they think they're alone. And when they read your story, they're going to be like, oh, oh, I'm not alone. Like I can do this. They did it. I can do it. And we want to highlight them as our subscriber of the week. Yep. So this week's subscriber of the week is Sarah. Sarah. 
Sarah says, I've been thinking for a while about making a post about my journey so far, but I'm finding it difficult to nutshell it. I started keto November 1st, 2018, and I've never looked back. I give God the glory and praise because I know that I have not done this on my own. I'd been heavy my whole life, but am now down 125 pounds and many inches. I feel fantastic. I weigh less now at 50 than I did at 19. Also, I was never able to donate blood because my iron was always too low. I would try every so often just in case. Imagine my surprise when about after about four months on keto, I was able wow. to. Now I donate as often as I can. I will never, ever live a non-ketogenic lifestyle. Are you ready? Yes. Yes! Look at you, Sarah! Amazing! Is that wow. awesome? Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm like tearing up thinking about how one of her biggest wins is that before keto, she couldn't help others by donating blood. And now a huge victory for her is that she gets to donate blood. Yeah. So how much do I love you? What an awesome that thing awesome. to say. Do you ever notice that I have you now Incredible. read the subscriber of the week? Incredible. You ever notice that? No, why is that? Because then you can read it, I can put up the picture, and then I can watch you cry. I just am so proud of it you. It is so awesome. And I just love all of, like we were just talking about whys. That is a different why than maybe a lot of people have brought up is mm -hmm. I get to donate blood now because keto has helped to repair my iron levels. Like you're a blessing. It is so awesome. Just a awesome. It is so awesome. awesome Congratulations, thing. Sarah. <laughs> Thank and you. Talk about inspiring. 125 other pounds. Yeah. Okay, let's get into this week's comments. Our first comment is from Esther. Hey Esther. She said, Rachel, I would like vlogs of you moving. Accountability. <laughs> I am happy to know that we will enjoy more of Joe's recipes. Can you please insta share your Instagram account on the comment section? Sure. So while our Instagram is linked down below, it's simple, simple, Instagram.com slash two crazy ketos. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be very proud to know that I finished out this Keto Chow Restart doing my exercises. Yep. Just did them at the campsite, just And we wherever. didn't vlog them because we were hanging out with the family. We got a little bit of vlog from that. But, but at least I got them in. They were not pretty though. And I need to make peace with that. Right. Um, and as I continue moving, because that is my commitment in 2021, is to keep moving. And we did also do a lot of like um, hiking. Yep. During this trip, we walked down the beach and walked down the jetty and it was like such a beautiful thing to just be able to move and walk. Right. And I'm going to go share them with you. But like, just know when I move, it ain't pretty. Yeah. Well, I've got a few more for you. Uh-oh. You ready? Uh, what is this? Rhiannon. Rhiannon. Beautiful. She says, thank you so much, Rachel. You helped me feel better about my out of shapeness. I hope so. I hope that, you know, in the past, we've talked about how I'm not coordinated. Right. And people are like, meh, no, seriously. Right. <laughs> like, I think that our vlog this week proved I am very, like, challenged when it comes to being able to, to move and keep in step. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for it over Rachel's head where she was doing some working out. Not, not pretty. Hey, here's the thing. When Just we do, do this it. kind of stuff, we're not like acting. This is really us. No. And, and we like to have a good time with things. And believe me, like you really don't want to see me doing the exercises. But. Do you know I always wanted to line dance and I just could not get it. I like Kudo in the Chaos is like really good at that kind of stuff. Boot scoot and boogie. Not for Rachel. Can't do it. <laughs> okay. Next one is from Kay. Hey, Kay. Kay said, great job, Rachel. I can't do push-ups to save my life. Neither can I. I bought an Oculus Quest 2 and doing Beat Saber and Light Saber uh, on my Vader Immortal for exercise. Wow. More fun than burpees any day. Yeah. No restart, just sticking to the keto plan. Thanks. This was entertaining. Well, I hope it was entertaining. What a cool workout. Yeah. Maybe I should go get an Oculus Rift. Can I buy a neck? Well, I don't have, I, I have like Max. I don't have I a want PC. A, I want a Vader workout. You have to buy an Oculus Rift. Can I go spend a thousand dollars on an Oculus Rift? No, but I feel like there must be a YouTube something that I can do No, you do need the Oculus Rift. You got to put the goggles on and then have the lightsaber and you're fighting Vader. That's Come so on, that cool. would be worth a thousand dollars. That is really stinking cool. Okay, so next one is from Cynthia. Hey, Cynthia. She says, Rachel, your unique sit up technique <laughs> made me laugh out loud. I startled myself. It has been a long time since I had a great laugh like that. Thank you. Well, Cynthia, 
I'm glad that I gave you a laugh. We need a laugh. Yes. Because sometimes like, you know, th the life just gets us down and yep. we need a good cackle. And if I could help with that, because I am so bad at exercising, I'm pleased as punch. And thank you for your kindness in saying that I came up with like a unique Set intent, up. you know. You, uh, not you were doing it wrong. Not that you stink at that. <laughs> Okay, next one is from Shell. Hey, Shell. She said, Rachel, we want to see, referring to you working out. She said, nobody likes to suffer alone. When we see you suffer, it makes us feel better about our suffering. I just felt like such a brat because when I heard myself say, like, this is a mean thing to do to me. What? Make you move? Have the privilege of moving, Rachel, is mean to you? But, yeah, I'm kind of a brat. Uh, next one is from Yvette. Hey, Yvette. She says, we want to see Joe exercise. Amen. N nobody wants to see me yes, with my do. giant man boobs bouncing up and down with the belly of fat going like this. Nobody get, wants to see that. I'll get you a sports bra and we'll keep moving. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Well, here's some good news. So you may have seen it over on Bronson's Instagram. I think he put it up, right? Yes. Um, I am starting a new program starting tomorrow, or actually Monday, which is today for you guys, if you're watching this on Monday, where well, I'm gonna be starting a new program with Bronson for the next, I believe, 60 days that wow. we're doing. And uh, we're going to be doing some workouts, which I will record some of it, not all of it. Um, we're kind of working on my diet. We're pretty much, I mean, he's all about keto. Yeah, um, but I love that about we're him. going to be fine tuning some things like, and that's one of the reasons I'm doing more eggs with my keto child. Cause he's like, I want to see you eating a lot more protein than you're eating. Uh, more, almost like more than a one-to-one, -one, almost like a one and a half protein to one fat ratio. So, um, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing some exercises. These are all going to be exercises that you can pretty much do at home. And what's inspired me to do this is number one, everything that he put out for the Keto Child 7 Day Restart, which by the way, if you didn't do it, but you still want to. Any seven days is a good seven it's days. It's on the website. Yeah. You can download the ebook for free. You don't have to go and buy like the restart program no. from Keto Chow. You can download the ebook, the Incredible exercises are there, the videos are there, the recipes are there. But yeah, so that kind of inspired me, him starting doing that with Keto Chow, but also. Same age. He's like two weeks older than me. Yeah, you're and the same I age. I looked at him and I'm like, he did a lot with those two weeks. Bronson? Joe. Bronson? Joe. Well, it's not something to get depressed about. It's something to get encouraged about. Exactly. This was not me comparing going like, oh my gosh, I wish I could be here. It was something that inspired me that like, okay, it's one thing when I look at Robert, Keto Savage, I'm like, okay, he's half my age. Like yeah. I shouldn't look like him. But Bronson's inspired me to get myself in shape. I think he's a great guy. He really believes in eating in this kind of lifestyle. I, and he knows what he's doing. And he's designing stuff that you can do at home. He's like, you don't, you don't have, have to, to go a to a gym. gym. And I'm like, I don't want to go to a gym. He's like, you don't have to. I am super excited that Bronson is in this space. Because I think a lot of times people our age give ourselves the excuse that like, oh yeah, if you were 20, if you were 30, then like, yeah, of course, you know, Crystal and Robert are working out and like that, this is their time to do that. And I guess I just missed that time. Nope, no right. excuses, 50 and older, we can keep moving too. Yeah. I get encouraged listening to Joyce Meyer, who I believe is either in her late 70s or early 80s, and she talks about, I am moving for the rest of my life. Like, yeah. I'm exercising. She's doing things three days a week. If she's working out three days a week, I don't have any excuses. Right. Like, right. get my butt up and get moving. Yeah. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell button for the notifications because we will putting up a, a video pretty much probably every week with me and Bronson discussing my journey, what's going on, also discussing things like counting calories versus eating intuitively. Like we've, we've already discussed some of that stuff and a lot of people will go like, what's the right answer? Is it the Dr. Barry answer or is it the Keto Savage answer where you track everything? So we're gonna be talking about that kind of stuff. I'm just looking forward to the muscles. Okay. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> Okay. Next one is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer said, pockets are life. Yes. Because you love pockets. Yes, I love she pockets. She said, LOL, I knew I found the perfect dress for my daughter's wedding when it had pockets. Nuh-uh. You're saying that you found a dressy dress-up dress that has pockets? Okay. You need to, like, send me the link to that because I am all about the pockets. 
Okay, next one is from Jennifer. Hey Jennifer, she says, I so needed to hear this. I had the worst day at work, made my son and I a ribeye to share and he wanted mac and cheese with broccoli and I almost gave in and said, I am tired, screw this. I'll share his side dish. Then seeing this video with Joe getting his butt up for prayer despite not wanting to made me not eat the mac and cheese. No excuses. You know what? I did that because it was the right thing to do. I didn't think it would inspire anybody, but it really makes me feel good that like it is an inspiration. And you know what? I know this lifestyle can be difficult. It's hard. Especially at the beginning, especially when you have so many people around you who are like, this doesn't work. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. It's not sustainable. Just have one. Yeah. It's okay. One cookie's not going to hurt you. It's hard. It is hard. I know it's hard. This is a choice, but like every time you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. And every time you say no to something, you're saying yes to something else. So mm -hmm. like the fact that you said like yes to get up and no to sleep in, it's hard to not do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But when you do, you're, you're not just a blessing to yourself and your own goals, but like you are a blessing to somebody else. And so if you made a right choice this week, share it, yeah. share it with us, share a hard yes, that you did the right thing. I said yes to the right thing and no to the thing that I wanted to like languish in because it's going to inspire somebody else. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that. So next one is from Jesus Freak. Jesus Freak. She said, my goal is to move every day and no snacking. First of all, I'm also Jesus Freak. And second of all, both of those goals are my goals too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next one is from Kim. Kim says, Rachel, how do you do these extended fasts, especially by yourself? I've never gone more than 24 hours. I think it's a mental block. Does it come easy for you or is there a point that you have to push through and then it gets easier? If so, how do you push through? I'll let you answer this. Well, um, so we did, I did do a seven and a half day fast to mm -hmm. begin the, the month of January. And it's funny, if it is linked to my faith, it's no problem at all. If it's just my desire to do something like I'm going to, you know, do a 24 hour fast, I can find it challenging. But if it's linked to something that I really truly believe in, I find it easier. So usually the first 24 to 48 hours is, is hard because your brain is working against you. It is a lie that if I don't eat in 24 hours, I'm going to die. Mm. But that's what my brain is telling me. Like, uh-oh, panic button. I'm going to push the panic button. I'm going to send a headache your way. I'm going to make your stomach growl. I'm going to make you angry or hangry. But after that first 24, 48 hours, um, if I don't have any negotiations going on, don't don't take that meeting is my advice. If For the first 24 or 48 hours, your brain wants to tell you like, hey, let's have a meeting and let me tell you about all the things you're missing out on and why you need to give me food. Don't take that meeting. And on the other side of it, you feel fine. Yeah. I, was, I felt great the wet rest of the week. The fact that this particular fast was tied to my faith there was no reason to take the meeting. Mm -hmm. So I, I felt great. It was good. Now, as, as opposed, just when it comes to a regular fast. Yeah. So generally, like Rachel said, no matter when we're fasting, whether it's for God or it's just because we're doing an extended fast, yeah. the first 24 hours is usually the hardest. Yeah. Also, especially the first one to two days, the hardest times at least for what I've always found, is around your normal eating time. Yeah. But if you can push past that for like just 30 minutes, all of a sudden you won't be hungry. Um, also, just to let you know, around hour 24, we generally get cold. Yes. And we also get Oof. like a lot of energy, like you can't sleep the first night. And that's because all of a sudden you're getting you're, so much energy. You are waking up really early. So it was... So it was really nice that I had to get up for morning, early morning prayer because I was up already. By I beat my alarm clock at 4.30, 5 a.m. no matter what. Also, if you know you're going to go into a fast, like determine like you're saying, find what is your normal eating window and go ahead and plan an activity that is, that's, that's, good. that's fun and you're doing something else. So like, hey, if I usually eat at two o'clock, I'm going to the zoo 
this week at two o'clock. I'm going to a park at two o'clock. You know, That's I'm going good. shopping at two o'clock, at, really like good. for for sh for to look at shoes or yeah. something. So you have something fun to look forward to in a time period that would be an obstacle to you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next one is from Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Kristen said, one random helpful tip that has helped me mentally is instead of taking boring and uncomfortable progress photos, I take progress videos. Nice. I set my camera up in my bathroom and I jam to my favorite music for 30 seconds. If I ever want an actual photo, I just take silly screenshots from that video. Now, every time I look back at how far I've come, instead of having negative thoughts about my body, I just laugh at my silly self. Wow, Chris, that is brilliant. That is awesome. I'm thinking to myself that you don't even have to laugh at yourself. You could string those together and it's like, as you are having progress, you're you're celebrating with a dance. Like you're dancing through your health goals. Okay, I that is an awesome thing. I love But all that. I can think about is myself Dancing in front of a mirror, which is not a pretty sight, by the way. Oh, I think it's a cute sight. I it's, like it. It's really not. Thank you. You have to say that because you're legally obligated to say it to oh, me. Oh, okay. Um, but then watching that video in six months or a year and then vomiting watching the video of me looking like an idiot dancing. No, you'll be cute. So. You, you think you're like Elaine from Seinfeld? That's how I dance. No, you're a pretty good dancer. Not me. So, okay, next one is from Gail. Hey, Gail. She says, Joe, I have a tip for you. Instead of taking the lid off, put the <laughs> lid on with the center hole open and then pour the chow packets in, run it on low and you did with the, as you did the lid off and then crank that baby up. I do that every morning when I do my coffee in the Vitamix. I start it on low and pour my coffee in after I have put all the other goodies in there. Ain't that the truth? Grease stains on clothes. Okay, thank you, Gail. Now, okay, here's the thing. I said in that video, which you ha if you haven't seen that video, you gotta go watch that part where I show you how I mix up my Vitamix. Wrong. My, my keto chow. Wrong. I explicitly like gave a disclaimer. Don't do this at home. I'm an idiot. Well, Gail is clearly not an idiot. She knows how well, to do it right. I know. Well, here's, you know why I don't do it that way? Yeah. Because when I do it that way, the keto chow scoop doesn't quite fit through the hole in the top of the Vitamix. And then I dump the scoop and some of the powder is on the lid. And then I feel like I'm wasting keto chow. Gail, so my way works really well. I feel like this is a big, hairy excuse to continue wrong behavior. That That's my take. I think Gail Possibly, for, Gail but for the again, win. I did give the disclaimer of, I'm an idiot. That is true. Don't do this at home. Thank you for that disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a quick commercial break and come back with our Facebook comments. Welcome back. Okay, now we're gonna get into our Facebook family group comments. Okay. And the first one is from James. Hey, James. James said, morning all. I wanna try something and request some input. We're so used to, as a household, eating a side dish with our food along with a snack after dinner. If I don't do this, I don't feel like it will eat enough during the 20 to four fasting that we do almost daily. If I decide to cut out cheese and nuts, that is my go-to food. What will I have left? I wanna get leaner this year and that's the only goal that I would like to achieve. I don't wanna use keto chow as a crutch. Thanks in advance. Well, actually, you can have whatever you want as a side dish, like bacon mm -hmm. or t a can of tuna fish. Right. Or, I mean, anything that is just a protein, and that's going to help you not add any extra fat if you've got a problem with nuts and cheese like, like I do. Right. I, you know, it doesn't have to look like a traditional side dish. We right. can do things, you can have purse bacon. That's right. I know that's not a traditional thing to keep in your purse, but I keep bacon in my purse, yeah. like Carrie Brown. Yeah. So. Like one of the things that I like to do is like as a side dish, you can make broccoli if you want. Yeah. You could make some cauliflower rice. If you don't want that, you know, have like something leaner. Like we'll make burgers with eggs. Yeah. And then we'll do like a side of some shredded chicken or tuna fish or something that's just much leaner. What's not adding a lot of calories, but adding like a side kind of thing. When it comes to snacks, you can have pepperoni, purse bacon, um, maybe some raw broccoli. Shrimp. Uh, some shrimp. You can make one of our like mug cakes. We have a few recipes on our website. Um, I'll leave a couple down below uh, where you can make like our cinnamon roll mug cake, something like that. So there's a lot of different things that you can do as snacks. You don't have to rule out vegetables, but if you want snacks, 
get some of those um like little what are the like the beef jerky kind of sticks. Absolutely. You know, like those things. Those Make are yourself all a great side things. salad. Yeah. So Okay, next one is from Maureen. Hey, Maureen. She says, I've been uh, keto mainly for just shy of three years. Some days dirty keto. Every once in a while, I'll have a low carb day. I've lost 100 plus pounds and have been maintaining for close to a year. I also have been intermittent fasting for one and a half to two years now. Most days, 20 to 22 hours. A few days, 18 or 20, but not often. I didn't overindulge over the holidays at all, and I haven't been uh, looking to lose any more weight but this past week my fiance went back on keto so i've been doing strict keto omad with 21 hour fast i haven't even had any of my dirty keto things like zero carb bread i've gained four pounds what's going on this made me just want to say blanket and quit i refuse to fast any longer than i already am and i certainly don't want to eat any less i don't want to lose weight i just don't want to keep gaining like i said nothing has really changed this past week other than going back to stricter keto okay i'm actually gonna leave this up for a couple seconds so first of all i know this is going to sound like the worst statement ever okay four pounds is nothing in a week the chance that you gained four pounds of fat in a week not happening. is almost impossible. Yeah. Eric could there's so many things that impact your weight. Um, like last week we talked about during Key on the Couch where Stephanie put up that great picture of like your weight can fluctuate five pounds in a single day. Right. You're not gaining five pounds of fat in a day. There are so many things that lend it like stress and water. For a woman, that time of the month, like there's, it's not something I would worry about. You really have to look long term. And one of the things I was talking about with Bronson, with Bronson was the scale. And we say it all the time. The scale is the devil. The devil, right? Get off of the scale and judge yourself long term. But if you look at yourself, go look on. If you if you want to really get fanatical, go look on the scale every hour on the hour, and you're going to see. Change. Up, down, up, down. What you want to look for is over a week or over a month, you want to see if it's moving down at all. But more importantly, going by your clothes, that's going to be the ultimate judgment of like what your is going on with your weight. Or even if you really need to do getting like a DEXA scan or something like that where it can measure your body fat percentage. You could have muscle going on and stuff like that. As On the other hand though, I do want to talk about, you are talking about like daily, like, long extended, you know, intermittent fasting. There is a downside to intermittent fasting, especially with women, in that, you know, what can happen is you don't eat enough calories. You're not right. eating enough food. Our body, when you want to talk about counting calories or not counting calories, your body needs X amount of energy to operate. Now, the whole way they determine calories, that's another whole thing and not in an exact science and everybody's body is different, but, the thing is, is your body still needs an X amount of energy. If you're not giving it that much energy, it'll work for a little while, you'll lose weight. But then what happens is, is your body's gonna start going, uh-oh, like I'm not getting, this wasn't a one day thing or a week thing, this is a long term thing, and it slows everything down. Right. And now what's gonna happen is, is your metabolism slowed down, so if you just eat a little bit more, you know, or even don't change anything, your body starts storing more and more and more. So that's why we recommend not intermittent fasting every single day. Do it three days, four days a week, change it up. Sometimes do two meals, sometimes do one meal, sometimes do three meals in the day. But I think a very fun data compilation would be if you're somebody that does do extended fast or intermittent fasting for a long time where you've got like this giant window where it's like 20 hours fasting and four hours to eat. Go weigh yourself every hour on the hour, like you're saying. You're gonna be like, how in the world am I a pound up and I'm an hour more into this? Yeah. But it happens. It is so, I've taken a shower and gotten out, like weighed, get in the shower, come out, and I'm like two pounds up. Right. I'm like, seriously? How? Right. How is this happening? I've fasted and gained weight during a fast. Yeah, it just shows you that how much of an enemy that the scale is to your 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 esteem, yeah. your self-esteem. So one of the things you may want to consider doing, I know you don't want to gain any weight, and if you do it right, you won't gain weight, is doing a reverse diet to speed up your metabolism. It's really kind of based on how much you eat, but the way you would do that is like increasing like 15 to 25 calories per week for 
a long period, like six to eight weeks, just yeah. slowly where Each your body week, won't really hold on more. to stuff. And then you stay there for three or four weeks and then you can reverse back down again. But you can slowly work your way up where you can actually eat more without gaining any weight. Yeah. Okay, so next one is from Melanie. Hey, Melanie. Melanie said, I've been doing keto for about 15 months and I've been hearing a lot about keto chow. Is this a passing fad or is there something worth exploring? I did purchase a one serving of salted caramel. Can I use it a bit for my coffee or recipes? Does keto chow contain MCT oil and what are the benefits beyond another source of fat to help keep the hungries away? Well, Melanie, I'm glad that you gave keto chow a shot. It is a meal replacement option. So it's not really something that you want to, to use as like a side snack. Yeah, so let me pull this back up because I wanted to answer a couple of things in here. So she said, uh, first of all, it is not a fad. They've been around for a long time. It was developed by a gentleman named Chris Bear who he says was lazy and didn't want to have to figure out his macros. Made it for himself. So he made it for himself and then people wanted it, which is I think some of the best products on the market. Um, but it, like Rachel said, it's not really a snack. It does not contain MCT oil. It contains no. maybe some trace amounts of oil, um, which is just from like the binding process and everything else like that. Like for example, chocolate peanut butter has peanut flour in there, so they're fat, but they don't add any fat. So instead, what you would do is you get this, it's pretty much a protein powder with some flavoring, with a little bit of sweetener, and then most importantly, vitamins and minerals added into it, and then you add your own fat. So you're gonna determine how many calories this meal is. So the base one is usually about 115 to 135 calories, depending on the flavor, and then you're gonna add butter, avocado oil, bacon fat, um, you can use lard, you can use ghee, you can use heavy cream. Eggs. Eggs. And you're going to add that in to round out your meal, give yourself the fat and be at like a 70 to 30 protein to fat ratio or like me right now, I'm trying to get close to like 60, 40 protein to fat or rather fat to protein. So that's what makes it so awesome is you get to determine the amount of calories and the amount of fat and you do want some fat for the vitamins and stuff. And the best part about Keto Chow is each shake gives you one third of all of the electrolytes and the minerals and the vitamins that you need for the day. So you're really making sure that you get everything you need as far as nutrients. Right. Okay, so next one is from Keto Ray. Hey Keto Ray, they say, quick question. I'm within 10 pounds of my goal weight and I try to do extended fasts like 72 hours and I can't make it. I don't feel satiated anymore. Is it healthy for me to do extended or just every other day? I was trying to do a reset after the holidays and this one is tough. Okay, so if you're only 10 pounds away from your goal weight, I don't know what your body fat percentage is, but do remember that at that last 10 pounds, no matter what lifestyle you're on, it's that's tough. the hard part. But you're having less and less fat that you, you know, to get rid of. Mm -hmm. You might want to, before you start that extended fast, maybe give yourself a little bit of boost of fast at the end. Sometimes it's also just a mental game for those 72 hour fasts. It really is. You know, and it comes down to like mind over matter thing. Use some electrolytes, use a bridge, have some black coffee get some like salt and put it in your water or the, you know, Redmond's seasoning salt, those kind of, something that every time you want to eat, you can kind of take a sip for. That'll help. But again, it also goes back to what we were just talking about before. It could just be that, you know, you're at that point now where you may need to reverse yourself back up, stay there for a little while and then come back down, like speed up that metabolism so that it's used to like, for example, if you're eating 1700 calories right now, get yourself up to 2000 stay there for three or four weeks, your body will be used to 2,000. Then when you drop it down to 18 or 1,900, you start losing weight again, which exactly. is insane because now you're losing weight at more calories than you were before where you weren't losing weight. We gotta trick these bodies. Yeah, that's just how it works. So we have one more and this one is from Joanne. Hey Joanne. She said, after only four months, I feel so much better. The aches and the pains are at a minimum. My sugar numbers are coming down. One of my medications has been removed so far. In 2021, this will be the year to remove more prescriptions. I'm 59 and been obese my entire adult life. Of course, I've lost and I've gained on every diet plan ever made, 
This time, it's a one-way street. Yay! I refuse to need insulin shots. Thank you for your support and your ideas. Well, Joanne, thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. And we're excited for your 2021. Like, this is going to be the year that we take back our health. That's if right. you're on a bunch of medications and you're like, I would like that not to be a life sentence. It doesn't have to be. Right, right, absolutely. So, well, that is gonna be this week's Keto on the Couch. We appreciate you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Now again, make sure you hit that bell button and be notified when you actually, you're gonna get to see me do some exercise with Bronson. You don't wanna miss that. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there are 95 more Keto on the Couches. And here's the thing. In every single one of them, Rachel has a different hairstyle. And they're not all good. And if you want to see one of those, take a look at the playlist, which we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel. Click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video with Joe with the same hairdo, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.